This short video is going to go over how we can graph in my math lab um, choosing the, the ordered pairs or the points that we want to plot. So many of you have noticed that when you go to plot points and maybe you have um, you know, a decimal or a fraction, um, it's not letting you do anything but integers. So we have um, a solution to that and I wanted to quickly show you how to do that in my math lab. So I'm going to first enlarge the graph here. So we have y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 5. And if I enlarge my graph, it makes it easier to see. And so of course we know by looking at this um, quadratic function that the vertex of the parabola is going to be 0, 5. So I go over here and I'm going to use my vertical parabola tool and I'm going to um, plot two points using this tool. And let's just say, um, for, for the sake of, of this demonstration, that the first point is going to be the 0, 5 and then the second point I, for whatever reason, chose to um, let x equal one and a half, one point five, and when you do that, if you would if you would take one point five and plug it in for x in this quadratic function, you would have negative two times the one point five squared plus five, right? So if we go through and you, and use our calculator to solve this, the one point five squared is going to give us two point two five. So we'll have negative 2 times 2.25, and that gives us negative 4.5. And if we add 5 to this, we're going to get a y value of 0.5. So the reason I did this was to show you how we can use um, numbers other than just the integers you see here. Okay, so I, I'm going to um, click on the vertical parabola tool, and notice I'm going to go over here, and my first point is the vertex, which we said was 0, 5. So you click right there where my cursor is right here and you can see in yellow up at the top um, it says 0, 5. Okay, so now let's say I want to plot my second point the 1.55 I can't, I can either go to 1 or 2. If I move my cursor I'm going to go from 1 to 2. I can't get my cursor to, to stop at that 1.5. So for the time being I'm just going to click on the 2 um, zero and so remember my point is 1.5 and then 0.5 for y but again that would put me at 2 1 so I'm only you know able to, to work in whole numbers here um, so I'm just gonna click anywhere that's kind of close to the number that I want and remember the number I want is 1.5 and then for x and 0.5 for y so once I actually have this parabola drawn now I can click on the the point that I want to edit so I'm going to put my cursor right here at the 2, 0. And now that I've clicked on that, notice up here in blue it says Edit Coordinates. Click on that. And now I can type anything I want for my coordinates. So now I'm going to say 1.5. And then remember when x is 1.5, we solved and we got a y value of 0.5. So now I just submit, and it changes it. And now I was able to plot a fractional coordinate. So click Save, and you're done.